Hi, it's Sandra from ScanSpeeder, and today we're going to scan some photos using a Canon scanner. So the first thing I do is I press scan. You're going to notice that ScanSpeeder picked up my Canon scanner, and it's recommended I use 600 DPI. We'll talk about that later, but I'm going to stick with that. I press OK. ScanSpeeder has auto-detected all three of my photos, including the black and white one. Now I'm going to click Extract Photos. ScanSpeeder has now automatically cropped all of the photos into three separate files. I'm going to quickly add a tag to my photo. The reason is, is I want to be able to find it later, and this also digitally embeds the information with the image itself. So I'm going to type in a name. I can also put in the year the photo was taken. Then I come down here and I'm going to click Save. You'll notice now that all the photos have been saved. I saved them up onto uh, my cloud drive so that they have a nice backup. Each photo is saved into my folder which is personal on the cloud, and my scanned photos is the prefix, and each one is gonna have a number. This one happens to be 13, 14, 15. And what they're doing is I've started back, I've started scanning photos before this, so this is just gonna add on to those photos. Finally, you're gonna notice each of the photos was saved as a TIFF and a JPEG. This is very important. The TIFF is the archival quality of the photo. It's very good for later on when you want to print or you want to do enhancements. This is the kind of photo that is preserved for generations to come. It's called lossless. JPEG is compressed, which means that every time you do something to the photo or you save it, you lose data. So it's good for emailing because it's nice and small, posting on social media, or slideshows. Now I'm going to hit start a new scan and we're going to start the process all over again. Thanks for watching.